like never, sing like never before. Oh, my soul, I worship your holy name. Yes, I worship your power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus to 
Break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. Break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. To break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. To break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. Break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. To break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. To break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. All sufficient sacrifice. So freely given, such a price for our redemption. Heaven's gates swing wide. Oh, swing wide. All sufficient sacrifice So freely given Such a price for our redemption Heaven's gates swing wide Swing wide Swing wide Swing wide There is power in the name of Jesus there is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. To break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. To break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. Break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. You break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. You break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. You break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. You break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. You break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. All sufficient sacrifice, so freely given, such a
sacrifice so freely given such a price for our redemption heaven's gates swing wide sing wide Swing wide, swing wide. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Nothing I want more than to be with you. There's nothing I want more than to be with you, my Lord. No, there's nothing I want more than to be with you, my Lord. No, there's nothing I want more than to be with you, my Lord. No, there's nothing I want more than to be with you, my Lord. No, there's nothing I want more than to be with you, my Lord. No, there's nothing I want more than to be with you, my Lord. No, there's nothing I want more than to be with you. Sacrifice so freely given, such a price for our redemption. Heaven's gates swing wide in all sufficient. Sacrifice so freely given, such a price for our redemption. Heaven's gates swing wide. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. They swing wide. Swing wide. Yes, they do. They swing wide. Cause there's nothing I want more than to be with you, Lord. Yeah, there's nothing I want more than to see. Yeah, there's nothing I want more than to be with you, oh Lord. Oh, there's nothing I want more than to see you more and more. 
Oh, there's nothing I want more than to be with you, my Lord. Oh, there's nothing I want more than to see you more and more. Oh, there's nothing I want more than to be with you, oh Lord. And there's nothing I want more than to see you more and more. Oh, there's nothing I want more than to be with you, oh Lord. There's nothing I want more than to see you more and more. Oh, there's nothing I want more than to be with you, oh Lord. And there's nothing I want more than to see you more and more. Oh, there's nothing I want more than to be with you, my Lord. There's nothing I want more than to see you more and more. There's nothing I want more than to be with you, my Lord. There's nothing I want more than to see you more and more. Oh, there's nothing I want more than to be with you, oh Lord. There's nothing I want more than to see you more and more. And there's nothing I want more than to be with you, oh Lord. And there's nothing I want more than to see you more and more. Heaven's gates fling wide. Heaven's gates.
spirit of prayer. Luke came earlier, shared a word from Luke 1, 17. But the Lord visiting His people again with the spirit. Power of Elijah, turn the hearts of the fathers to the children. How He's releasing. He had a dream that he was, the Lord was releasing. The Luke 1:17 on 117. Before he was even in the room, the Lord was moving with a grace and a spirit of prayer upon our community. So I just encourage you just to enter in however the Lord leads, but there is a grace to enter in, to prayer at another level. Today, we're going to focus the prayer can in the next couple of hours for Israel. The very reason the Lord is raising up this prayer movement in Kansas City. To pray for revival among the Jewish people. The Holy Spirit, just present yourself before the Lord now. Here we are. We stand before you in this corporate solemn assembly. People of God, your chosen ones, we stand before you to give you your worth and to receive from you all that you want to give us. You said that salvation would come to the Jews. When the fullness of the Gentiles comes in, we say we stand, God, for our inheritance. We stand before you to be all that you want us to be. We thank you for the dream that you gave Lou that you are releasing again to the church. The mantle of John Wimber, the power, the signs and wonders. We ask that in this room today, you would give us a foretaste. You would give us a taste of all that you want to release. We come before you, we say, meet us again in this room. Release great grace for intercession. God, stir up dead hearts. Stir up cold hearts with your love and with your affection. We love you, Jesus. We love that you love us more than we love you. And we say yes, Lord, to this grace in this place today. In Jesus' name.
you want to know the mysteries of heaven. We want to know the secrets of this little voice this Get to lift our voices all over the room. Open wide, Lord. Open wide the floodgates. Fling wide the gates to heaven. Fling wide the gates of
Have they, Israel, stumbled that they should fall? Certainly not. But through their fall, to provoke them to jealousy, salvation has come to the Gentiles. Well, we pray the promise of Joel 2, that you would release an outpouring of the, on the Gentiles in the last days. You would release a global outpouring that would provoke Israel to jealousy. God, we long for the day when you return when you reign in your glory from Mount Zion. But you said that before that day, you would pour out your spirit upon all flesh, that you would release the fullness of the Gentiles, that you would release a great and a global outpouring of your spirit in the latter days, that sons and daughters would prophesy, that old men would dream dreams and young men see visions on men's servants, on maid servants, on young and on old. You said, I will pour out my spirit in those days. And it will come to pass in those days that whoever calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. For in Mount Zion and in Jerusalem there shall be deliverance, as the Lord has said, among the remnant whom the Lord calls. Father of glory, we thank you for your glorious plan. We thank you for the promise of a Redeemer who will restore all things as He rules in His glory from Mount Zion. We thank you for the promise of a saved remnant in the land of Israel. God, we thank you for the promise of a global outpouring of the Spirit on all flesh to provoke Israel to jealousy. God, we take our stand before you in this place and we ask that you would awaken the Gentiles. You would awaken your Gentiles to your plan and to your purpose for Israel. You would awaken the Gentiles to contend for a great outpouring that would provoke the Jewish people to jealousy. We ask you today in this place that you would begin to release what Paul calls the fullness of the Gentiles. We ask you that you would begin to pour out the spirit of prophecy on all flesh. From Kansas City we take our sand on behalf of Israel and we ask you to do what you promised to do. Pour out your glory upon the church. Pour out the spirit of prophecy on young and old, on African, on Asian, on European, on South American, God, on all flesh. We ask you for this outpouring of the spirit of prophecy, the testimony of Jesus in the nations for the sake of Israel. Father, we ask in our hour and in our day that you would open the heavens, that you would rend the heavens, that we might see Israel be saved. You would rend the heavens, that we might see fullness among the Gentiles. We take our stand before a God who hears, before a God who delights to answer prayer. And we say you are the one who said, for the sake of Israel, you would turn the hearts of the fathers to the children and the children to the fathers. So we ask that you would release on your church the spirit and the power of Elijah God. You would release seal for your house and seal for your name. You would release the power of Elijah in signs, in wonders, in miracles with a prophetic spirit. Here we are, God. We ask you today in this place, would you hear our prayer? Would you open the gates of heaven, God? Would you open the floodgates of heaven? Would you pour out your spirit and release the spirit of prophecy on the church? In Jesus' name. Release a global outpouring. Beloved, pour out your spirit on the Gentiles. 
release the spirit of prophecy in full flesh. That would provoke the Jews to jealousy. God, we ask that you would release a prophetic spirit on the church. You would release the spirit of Elijah on the church that turned the hearts of Israel back to their God in the days of Elijah. That turned the hearts of those in Israel to God in the days of John the Baptist. You would release that spirit on your church today that would turn the hearts of Israel back to their God. You would release the spirit of prophecy. You would release mighty signs and wonders and miracles through your people. The testimony of Jesus would go forth with power in the nations. The miracles and the signs and wonders would be those that Jesus did. Yea, even greater than those. Father, we ask you for a testimony of Jesus in the church. We ask you for a great awakening across the nations. We ask you that the promise of the Father to Israel, the Holy Spirit, would be seen with glory in the church. That the glory of Jesus would rest upon the Gentiles. God, that Israel would see, that Israel would hear, that Israel would put her trust in God. Father, in the name of Jesus, awaken the nations. Awaken the nations. Anoint the nations with the power of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name. Sin revival for the sake of Israel. For the sake of Israel, we ask you for signs and wonders.
God, turn Israel to you, Father, when you exalt your son in the way that only you can in that hour, Father, and she will not turn back. Revive her, and she will turn to you. Restore her, God, and she will be saved. Father, we pray for all the Arabs, God, living in the land of Israel. Lord, who better to provoke the Jews to jealousy than their brother, God, Ishmael. God, I ask for a mighty revival and awakening among the Arab church in Jesus'
temple, Lord, would you fill your church with glory? Would you fill us with glory, our bodies, Lord, to provoke Israel to jealousy? In Jesus' name. Lord, when you remember Israel, your inheritance, remember North Korea, your inheritance, God. Remember the 200,000 North Korean Christians that are underground, God. Lord, would you break down the heavenly locked gates of North Korea? Raise up North Korean Christians who are purified.
we send more unfight believers, more laborers into Israel, Father. And I want to thank you for your believers today, Lord. And I pray for those people, for believers working with the, with the, into the areas, Father, into the refugee camps. And working with the Hamas to get people safe. Strengthen them, Father. Strengthen with power. Through the Holy Spirit. Fill them with your love, your power, your strength, and Lord. And pray for eventually into the Jewish people, Father. Lord, just pray for massive revival, Father, in Jesus' name. Oh, our chief cornerstone, the one who's already broken down the wall of partition separating Jew and Gentile. We long to see with our own eyes that one new man. We call for that one new man in this generation, Jew and Gentile standing together in worship.
for Jesus' sake, raise up a holy bride. Raise up watching watchmen, Lord God. Raise up wise virgins for Jesus' wedding. We speak to Jerusalem. Lift up your heads. Open ye gates for the King of glory to come.
beginning of Israel from Romans 10.1. Brethren, my heart's desire and prayer to God for Israel is that they may be saved. Abba, we come to you today. Father, we thank you for your spirit. We thank you for your Holy Spirit that we've experienced in measure. God, in these days, in the spirit that you've given us on the inside, Abba, we thank you for the spirit that brings life. Father, we thank you for the day coming that the spirit will breathe life into the dry bones of Israel once again. Like Ezekiel prophesied, God, that there would be life for Israel once again. And like Paul said in Romans 11, that Israel would resurrect from the dead. Father, we thank you for your spirit and your life. Father, we thank you for the measure that you've given us. God, we ask for more of your spirit. God, we ask for an awakening. God, we ask that you would awaken our hearts even more in these days. Abba, we want to share in your heart. Father, we want to be moved with compassion. God, like your son was when he walked the earth. God, we want to see signs and wonders. Father, we want to love like you love. Father, we ask that you would awaken our hearts. God, with your love and your compassion, even like you have for Israel, Father, we ask that you would awaken our hearts with the mercy and compassion that you have for your firstborn people. Father, in these days, would you awaken us to love Israel like you do, God? Would you awaken our hearts? Father, would you cause us to see the great mystery of your people, Israel? God, would you cause us to see all that you've done, God, that you've set Israel aside for a season for our sake? Abba, would you show us this great mystery, Father, and cause us to rise up and cry out day and night, night and day, that Israel would know you, that they would know your son, Yeshua, that they would know you and walk with you once again. Father, we long to see the fullness of this plan unfold. We long to see the fullness of your destiny for Israel. We say we are not complete without Israel in her place. So we come to you, God, and we cry out for Israel, Father, that you would show your great compassion to her, that you would awaken her heart, that you would bring her to life once again. Father, we ask that you would give of your 
of more intercessors from, from the church. Isaiah 63, 15, 16, 64, 1 and 2. Look down and see from your habitation, holy and glorious. Where are the manifestations of your zeal and strength, the yearning of your heart and your mercies toward me? You, O oh Lord, are our Father, our Redeemer, from everlasting is your name. Oh, that you would rend the heavens, that you would come down. If the mountains, the obstacles would shake at your presence. As fire burns brushwood, as fire causes water to boil, to make your name known to your adversaries, that the nations may tremble at your presence. Father, I lift up to you the church, worldwide, God, mainly Gentiles, Lord, with some Jews, some Messianic Jews in there, Lord. I pray that you would raise up out of this largely Gentile church, Lord, intercessors for Israel, that you would pour forth revelation, Lord, that you would reveal your zeal for this subject and for the people, the Jewish people, and for the nation of Israel. Lord, that your strength and the yearning of your heart would be revealed to the church, that you would show forth your mercy, your mercy to believers, Lord, that you would lift the veil off their eyes, the veil of replacement theology, the veil of wrong teaching, the veil of anti-Semitism that's hidden in the nooks and crannies of ancient teachings. Lord, we ask that you would pour forth wisdom and revelation on the church, that you would remove the obstacles that stand in the path of true understanding of your purposes and plans for the nation of Israel, for the Jewish people, for the Gentiles, for the world, Lord. Reveal your heart, reveal your word, reveal truth to the innermost parts of the church, the believers, Lord. We lift up the church before you today and we cry out for wisdom and revelation. Would you rend the veil of ancient misunderstandings and false doctrines? Would you reveal truth in Jesus' name?
Jesus, the greatness of mercy and love at the feet of Jesus, and we cry. As if you 